Hello everyone and welcome to the preview for Hull City versus Charlton Athletic on Saturday the 2nd of January. Three o'clock kickoff at the KCOM Stadium. The Tigers are back. Football is back for us Hull City fans. Happy New Year everyone. Hope you all had a very, very good Christmas. Hope you're all enjoying the Hull City career mode which I've started. More episodes will be out this week. It will be out basically whenever there's not one of these or a match reaction or some news about Grant McCann or opinion videos, things like that. But before we get into uh, the rest of this preview, we've got to do my Player of the Month award for December, and it has gone to, in what was a pretty dead month, it's gone to Greg Doherty. Well done, Greg. Your first Player of the Month. You are added to the winner's board there. Bang, there he is. December 2020, Greg Doherty. Now on to the main section of the preview then with the team news where Grant McCann will be missing a number of first-team players as the Tigers return to action against Charleston Athletic in the first game of 2021. A number of unnamed Hull City players had to isolate following a number of positive <laughs> tests within the squad. Manager Grant McCann said on New Year's Eve, we're hoping to have uh, hoping to have maybe a couple of the players back, whether they're going to be fit and available for the weekend, we're not sure. We'll be missing some players. It's not ideal for us because really we haven't seen each other for 10 days, but the players have worked hard on plans that we set them. The good news is that players who are self-isolating at this present time are on the mend and they're getting better. It's a blur to lose these players, but we hope that they get better soon. We had another round of testing on Tuesday and every result has come back negative, which is good. On the injury front, only Callum Jones is missing this game with a hamstring problem sustained just over a month ago in the Stevenage FA Cup defeat. So, in terms of injuries, if we're taking away all the isolations and and things like that, if we're looking purely on injuries, Callum Jones is the only injured player, which is pretty decent. At time of recording, both Hakiba Delican and Regan Slater are still at the club. Both players have recall options by their parent clubs, Bristol City and Sheffield United respectively, this month. So as it stands, Adelican and Slater are still here. There's rumours that Adelican's going to go back to Bristol City, but at the time of recording, he's still here. On to ref watch then. The referees Martin Coy, the two liners, Mark Wilson and Robert Atkin. The fourth official is Andrew Dallas. And on to stats then. These are taken from our game against Portsmouth, which seems absolutely years ago. Hull City had 15 shots against Portsmouth. Of those 15, get this, only one was on target. Only one. Only one. You've got to be kidding. Hull City had 59% of possession. Hull City committed 16 fouls. The Tigers made 16 tackles. City made 551 passes in the game with a pass accuracy of 77%. Now, I don't remember us in that game having one 15 shots to 59% of possession. But, hey ho. What do I think then? I don't really know what to say because I don't know which players can play. But Greaves looks low on confidence. Maybe bring Device or McLaughlin in if they're fit after isolation. Change system. Maybe Grant, you know, we're getting found out a little bit. So change your 4 3 3, you moron. Bring George Long back in, maybe. We missed Honeyman against Portsmouth, so I hope he's here. And hashtag free KLP. On to head to head battles then. As I did when we played Burton, I didn't know which players they'd have. I don't know which players we have. So it's just. Two question marks for now. But for Charlton, we've got Marcus Tsk***n, who's going to be playing on the right wing for them. And we've got Darren. He's bloody missed it. What a prat. Matt Goldbridge reference. We've got Darren Prattley at the back. Marcus Tsk***n is, um, is going to be, I think, on the right for them. Yeah. On to current form now, then. It's been a while since we've played. Uh, Charleston haven't played since Boxing Day. Um, last game we've had three defeats on the bounce. Then we had a dr then we have had two draws, which were the most unconvincing draws ever. But we managed to win on penalties in the second of those two. As for Charlton, lost one 0 to MK Dons, drew one all with Shrewsbury Town. They beat Wimbledon five two. They drew two two with uh, with. Swindon away from home and hold on a second I'm making an absolute disaster of this there we go all sorted um, yeah the, um, they drew two all with Swindon and then drew two all with Plymouth 
Onto the league table now then. I don't know how, but we're still third. I do not know how, but we are still third. Only two teams have played every single game. That's MK Dons in 14th, and that's Burton at the very bottom. Burton have played more games than anyone else, and they're still bottom of the league. You can see, though, whilst City haven't been playing, Crew have flown right up the table. They're now in 9th on 30 points. Um, Sunderland have slipped down a little bit. They've had a lot of games called off. Um, Oxford have climbed up a little bit. So have Shrewsbury. And that's about it. Lincoln, top of the league now. Um, nothing else to report, really. There's been no other games. Our next cup game is the Papa John's Trophy tie against Fleetwood on the 12th of January. On to around the grounds then on League One match day 22. Right. It's pretty much split in half. The games that are on are in orange and the games that are not are in red. So, AFC Wimbledon face Lincoln, Bristol Rovers face Blackpool, Burton Albion face Oxford, Northampton Town face Sunderland, Plymouth face Gillingham, and Swindon face Wigan. And the games that have been postponed. Accrington Stanley versus Portsmouth, Fleetwood Town versus Ipswich, Peterborough United versus Doncaster Rovers, Rochdale versus MK Dons, and Shrewsbury Town versus Crew Alexandra. On to shared shirts now then. Today, we're looking at one which I didn't know played for one us to them when I uh, started my research for this preview it's been a while since i've done one of these so just give me a minute i'm trying to, I'm, as i'm going through here on my display i'm trying to make a lot of adjustments to uh this thing graphically because i've made an absolute mess of shared shirts right here but there we go that's sort of i think oh we'll, we'll go with it <laughs> Uh, but we're looking at Danny Mills. We're looking at Danny Mills today. He was at both clubs on loan. He played 10 more times for Charlton than he did us. Uh, he scored zero goals for both sides. And he was on loan at both clubs from Manchester City. There's also a picture of him when he played for Charlton, of him getting in a bit of a scrap with Dean Windass. If you just search in Danny Mills Charlton on Google, you'll find that I think it's one. I think it's the second one that comes up on Google Images. Um, I could put it on screen for you. In fact, I will. I'm saving the image right now. So it's on screen for you there. On to my predicted 11 now then in Grant McCann's lovely, lovely, jubbly 4-3-3 formation. I, I, um, a little asterisk to this. I have no idea who we've got available. So I'm just going to say if we've got everybody fit, this is what I think he'll play. We won't have everybody fit because people have been isolating. Matt Ingram in goal. If uh, if Ingram's been isolating, it'll be George Long. A back four of Josh Emmanuel, Rhys Burke, Jacob Greaves and Callum Elder. Um, I'll just fill in with if it was Emmanuel isolating, Louis Coyle. If they're both isolating, you'll probably put Sean McLaughlin there or something like that. A Burke and Devi no Burke and Greaves, sorry. If um that if those if either of those two have been isolating, there's Alfie Jones who's back from injury if he's not been isolating. There's um there's Device and there's McLaughlin as well. Let's not forget Festus Arter. Um, at left back, as I say, Callum Elder, if he's been isolating, Brandon Fleming will come in if they both have, maybe McLaughlin, someone like that. Richie Smallwood, um, if he's not been isolating, he, if he's been isolating, sorry, we've got options in the middle, we've got Batty. Well, the midfield trio is Smallwood, Honeyman and Doherty, which I, if we have everyone fit, I think he'll play. But we won't. So if either of those three have been isolating, we've got Alfie Jones. We've got um, Dan Batty. We've got we've got options. We've got options. I'm just trying to grab um, a thingy list, a squad number list. There we go. Uh, who have we got? We've got Batty. We've got Samuelson, who should be back from injury. You can maybe slot in at Cam. Regan Slater. Max Sheath. So we've got options. We have got options. If we, we, We've got Wilkes on the right. Adela can, can sub in for him. Lewis Potter can sub in for him. Mayer. Yeah. 
Thomas Mayer won't be playing though. He's with his uh, he's with his other half and his little boy back in Austria. I think, judging by his Instagram stories. Scott on the left and McGuinness leading the line. That's the team in picture form. Now onto the bench. George Long, Louis Coyle, Dan Batty, Tom Eaves, Hekiba Delican, Regan Slater and Keen Lewis Potter. Hashtag free KLP. That's the team in picture form. That's the team on the pitch. Take that last segment with a little bit of a pinch of salt because I have no idea which players are fit which players are not, which players are isolating, which players are not, which players have finished their isolation, which players were positive for career in the first place. But everyone's negative. They've just got to see out their isolation periods now. So hopefully by the time we play Wigan, we should all be sorted. On to my predicted score now then. Will we get the win? I think because we've had the little break... It's broken the cycle of bad form which we've been in. I think we will just about muster up a 1-0 win. Thank you very much for watching this preview. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for the match reaction. Goodbye.